Piano play it. Ubobobo.com. Hi everyone, welcome to another beginner's piano lesson of pianoplay.com. This is David here, and today we're going to discuss the grand stuff. If you haven't followed my piano lesson over the treble step and the bass step, I suggest you do this first because this one is a natural continuation to the previous beginner's piano lessons. The grand stuff will help us to play notes both on the right hand and the left hand. Let's see how we're going to do that. Okay guys, so to begin with we have to discuss why the grand stuff is important. When we're playing piano, we play piano with both hands, the right hand and the left hand. When we have the grand staff, the upper staff gets the right hand and the lower staff gets the left hand. That's basically why the grand staff is for. Mostly the right hand will play above middle C so then it will be most comfortable to draw a treble clef on the upper staff but it doesn't have to be. If we play with both hands under middle C this staff might get the bass clef but almost always the upper staff gets the treble clef. When we go to the left hand in the lower staff and we mostly play under middle C so it's handy to draw the bass clef. This is why we add the treble clef to the upper staff and the F clef, the bass clef, to the lower staff. But it doesn't have to be. Both staffs could have the treble clef and then both staffs will play above middle C. What's interesting in the grand staff is that it's creating a symmetric relationship. What do I mean by that? If you look at G, it points out on the no G, which is found on the second line from below. And if you look at the bass clef, it points on the second line from above. So this is F on the second line here, yeah, if we come from above, and this is G on the second line from below. Both clefs point out at the second line. Now, if we go down from G to F to E to D, and now we're out of line, so I taught you to draw an imaginary line when we draw middle C. It's interesting to know that the same imaginary line applies for the bass clef. So if we go under middle C, we can draw the B here, A here, G here, and F here. They compensate each other. They make the whole story complete. What if I'd like to play a B note on the right hand, right? If I go here, I go to the left hand. Then what I do, I draw the B here, and it will belong to the treble clef and not to the bass clef but if I'd like to play a B note on the bass clef I'll draw the B here and then it will be part of the left hand so this one its stem is going up and then it belongs to the treble clef and this one is part of the bass clef now you understand the difference between the upper staff and the lower staff it's only the hands it doesn't have to do with the keys now I'd like to have a look at the registers of the grand staff. The lower register would start probably from this A until this A. Both are A's. A to A. We call this one the base register or the lower register. Starting from this A close to middle C and until the upper A, we have the middle register. And then above A until the upper A, it's actually the upper register. We'll be using the lower register for the bass, the middle register mostly for harmony, it's where it's most interesting to place, and the upper one will be for the melody. Okay, so this one is for the bass, this one is for the chords, and this is for the melody. Okay guys, so today we've learned how to read piano notes on the grand stuff in the right hand and in the left hand. In the next piano lesson I'm going to show you how to read piano notes both in the right hand and in the left hand together, okay? It meant a sort of an other skill, so we're going to get that in the next piano lesson. I hope you enjoyed playing Bingo What's His Name, oh! Below in my website you'll find beginner's piano pieces for the grand stuff. I really suggest you practice them because they are for free and it's nice. Just Take a visit and see also other amazing stuff in my website. I really work hard to provide you with the best piano lessons I can. Just click here on the link on the right and it will direct you straight to my website. It's completely for free. Don't worry, it's all for your pleasure. So I'll see you on my website in pianoplay.com. Bye guys! Piano play it.
come Piano player Die 